Maman est stupide. Mon oncle pour le Mozart. Mon oncle est un bon Mozart. Quand tu as un bon Mozart, tu as un bon Rakuhalo Achwak Tatale, and the Selin the Song Major, one million dollars. Oh, and the Mahaman Jalazi Yukura in Yinwan Kanak Yamang Lenyari. No, 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 no. It will just end here. It's going to be a straight line. For now, I'm just interested in the idea of the train track as an intervention within the landscape. My mission will know the straight lines of line. Wonderful. And so now imagine the tracks on it. Uh -huh. So it's like you've, you've scarred the landscape. So I'm thinking about it as a scar within the landscape. Assembly. As for assembly man, he's always happy. I, wa I want to know his secret. Mahama's granddad lived around here. He walked all the way from the north to the south to work for the British in the Gold Coast. People had to walk so far. Sometimes people died. They never returned home. Like, like, Oba no chang nti on guarma, chang nti ji benya chang atenda jinya. So kujile na katlanya. Like this road, you see, yeah, we never seen it. Yeah, we never seen it.
So we are still building it. But when it's done, the idea is that there will be a railway track that will run here. And then one of them will be a classroom which will run within the landscape. So what would it mean to sit in a classroom which is made up of a train that was used to exploit, used for exploitation, but now it is, uh, it's been made into a form that presents a gift of, let's say, uh, imaginations, things like that. So when you look at it from the top, it almost looks like a, a scar. When uh, something, when your, when your cloth is torn or when there is a surgery on the body and then they have to like, uh, when they have to sew it and then there's a scar left on the body, what does this scar mean? Is it a scar that means something that is broken or something that is uh, meant to conceive new futures and others? Imagine this train. Don't take it for granted. Since the British built the railway line in 1890, there's never been a train in the north of Ghana. The railway line was built in the Gold Coast, mostly just to extract gold. And the labor that came into the mines and other things came also from the north. Uh -huh, but the infrastructure, together with the wealth and everything, never reached here. That's why the north is very poor. One final question. Where do you get the money to do all of this? Good question. I work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I travel, I teach in universities around the world. More than 80% per the time, I'm out of the country. Also, some of the artworks that I produce, like the boxes that you saw in there. So selling two of those works yes. is enough to build an institution like this. So I like that idea that we can use old things that are somehow dead in traditional society. And through arts, we can make things. But normally when you're an artist, when people make art and they make money out of it, it's like they've ended. It's like, oh, I'm, I have money and I'm a rich man. But I'm more interested in what the money represents. It's, uh, it's capital. 
and it's a residue of a system that is broken. Hello? Uh, I'm good. I told you that we are building the rail line. Since I came home, that's what I've been working on. Yeah. There's so much to do here. My God, sometimes I feel like half of my life has been taken away from me. Yeah. And all this traveling, it's so stressful. So, so stressful. <sighs> yeah. I wish I just had like five years to be stationary here without having to think about traveling outside. And yeah. So you should take this lesson from this old man and don't, don't do that with your life. <laughs> Speak to you then. When the trains were coming here, people were like, oh, but the trains are in such a bad shape. I, as an artist, I'm interested in the bad shape because of the histories that they carry. We have to start thinking about the impossible forms, as I spoke about before. Works that might not be possible for that to happen elsewhere. I think it becomes more interesting in terms of how even the courage that we bring to art within the local context. <laughs> The idea of home here has always been a complex one. There's something so much unresolved in me that I'm always trying to still grapple with, trying to still understand. <sighs> yeah, in a way. When I was, um, when I was, um, how old was I? Yeah. Auntie, let us worry. I'm as young can you? Do I? Yeah, so, so, Wong William Boma, so, Mama Baza, the Jamaica, William, in your room, come on, walk. The man let Dana, Miss Auntie Silijima, I have a hair. When we have kids come in here and you ask them a question, they don't want to answer because they're afraid that they might make a mistake and then you beat them or scold them. I always tell them that no, here there are no right answers. It's just a matter of possibilities.
Ten nangla more than that. Yes, ten nangla more than that. Very good. What do you want to be in future? No problem, no longer present. Republic of Ghana. So, come and do. Very good. So, in the lab, you just as already be on it is a good. People don't want to be here. They just want to leave. We have to be able to empower them with enough to think that they can be here and transform this place into what the future for another generation. <laughs> 